this is actually like? I feel like my eardrums are going to burst. Well, how could they expect to attract people to come and watch if they didn't make a huge spectacle? <laughs> March, you haven't forgotten what you came to do, have you? As a representative of the Sienjo Lafu, I will defeat all challengers. That's the spirit. Sounds like you're all fired up. If you could just keep your legs from shaking so much, it would be more convincing, March. As the saying goes, the disciple takes the toil of their master. Remember, you are here under the identity of a Lawfu swordmaster, taking the place of your no good master Yenqing as the ringmaster. But what am I supposed to do if my opponent for this round is super talented and just wipes the floor with me in seconds? I'm still a beginner in swordplay. I don't know where I got the confidence when I agreed to help General Huayan. Come on, there's no need to worry about that. If you are defeated, then your opponent shall have to answer to me. Although, if that happens, the honor and the glory of the Sienjo Lawfu shall all be taken by the Juming. <laughs> uh, Master Yun Li, please, I'm about to compete. Can you say something that will give me a little confidence? March, think about the great storms that you, Nameless of the Express, have weathered along your many journeys. There's no doubt that you have faced far more terrifying enemies than your opponents here today, right? Don't you feel a lot more relaxed looking at it that way? There's so much pressure. Oh, my stomach is really hurting. Maybe I should just drop out of the contest. You made a promise to my grandfather and now you want to run away? <laughs> Get out there! Now! Master Yunli, I don't think I'm completely ready. March, there is no such thing as completely ready. I was informed of your arrival by Madame Yukong and came to greet you personally. The news that you will be the ringmaster in place of Lieutenant Yan Ching has been made public, Miss March. Just now, as I passed the contestants' hall, I overheard them all discussing this news. The most common question I heard was, Who is March 7th? If they ask you this, how will you introduce yourself? Do you have something prepared? March 7th! A young beauty from the Astral Express! Alright. When people ask you, you might as well tell them this loud and clear. <laughs> I see you are both quite relaxed. Impressive! Did the imminent danger you face? Miss Yun Li's contestant information was registered for the war dance a long time ago. However, as a last minute entry, the Skyfaring Commission has taken care of the necessary procedures for you, Miss March 7th. Please, follow this path. The contestant hall is just up ahead. Thank you, Miss Shikwe. So, oh. <laughs> this is the contestant hall. Oh, there are so many people! March, before the war dance begins, allow me to give you one more lesson. My grandfather always told me that a weapon mimics its master. That means that a person's weapon will reflect their habits and personality. You've seen me wield old metal before, haven't you? Tell me, what did you observe from that? Master Yun Li's weapon looks so thick and heavy. I don't think you have very good taste. Uh, I asked you to make predictions about your opponent's combat style. No one asked you to criticize my dear old medal. Observing the weapon that your opponent uses, assessing what kind of battle skills they excel at, and where their weaknesses lie, is the key to victory in battle. A shockingly heavy sword like mine, for example, is obviously not suited for a long, drawn-out battle. So, it would be best to find a way to drag the battle out. Why would you tell me your weakness? 
that's the only way to ensure that we have a fair fight, don't you think? I don't want to see you go and lose to someone else after all. Now is a perfect opportunity to learn how to evaluate your opponents. Let's use the people here in the contestants hall to practice. If you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. Know myself and know the enemy. Let's see, who should I ask first? Ugh. I am not used to wearing clothes like this at all. Ooh, you're March 7th. The stand-in for Lieutenant Yun Cheng, correct? That's right. And you are? As you can see, I am the journalist entrusted with interviewing contestants on site. I see the Skyfaring Commission has really gone all out as the host. Interesting. That's right. A big event like this just can't go ahead without a few of us running around. <laughs> Since the competition is getting started, could I ask you some questions that are on my mind? Know yourself and know your enemy, right? <laughs> if you accept my interview, you'll learn all about yourself. First, the question that is on everyone's minds. Lieutenant Yancheng is not appearing in today's war dance. This is just gossip from unreliable sources, but I hear that Lieutenant Yancheng is seriously injured. Is this true? Then what is the real reason? Seriously? Um, all right. I understand. Once the war dance begins, you will be challenged by master swordsmen from many different worlds, Miss March 7th. Are there any that you're looking forward to facing in particular? May I ask who that might be? Uh, who? Oh, are you talking about a contestant here today? Thank you very much for accepting my interview. Much appreciated. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, was there something you wanted to ask me? Ah, yes. Yeah, this is just a regular Cloud Knight Devastator Glaive. Oh. I understand what's going on, Miss March 7th and Miss Yun Li. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not a contestant. I'm just here as a security guard. Hmm, nothing out of the ordinary. I guess you could say it's all fair winds and calm wolves. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Another awkward pause. I know it. Uh, did you get it? Uh, wolves sounds like waves. It's a funny pun. He's actually explaining his joke. Ah! Making things awkward really is my weakness. There are still many guests arriving here. Please be cautious. Understood. <sighs> I came here because I wanted to meet the great Lieutenant Yan Ching I've heard so much about and finally cross blades with him myself. Who would have imagined that he would take a disciple and have her be the ringmaster in his place? This is no more than running away from a fight and is a great dishonor to the Yao Ching. This last minute replacement, March 7th, who exactly is she? If I'd known I could use multiple weapons at once, I'd have brought my bow. Hello, miss. Are you here to take part in the Ringmaster's challenge, too? That's right. I'm the March 7th that everyone's been talking about. What? Your March 7th? Don't worry. I'm a newbie swordmaster who's only been practicing the art of swordplay for half a month. March 7th. Standing before you is a seasoned Cloud Knight who has practiced swordsmanship for over 200 years. Tricking the opponent into underestimating me is a valid tactic too, right? The first round of the war dance is about to begin. 
Are you feeling okay, March? Me? I'm fine. As soon as I saw all these people gathered here, I suddenly felt weirdly relaxed. Just make sure to maintain this composure when you go in the ring. I understand why you wanted me to know myself and know my enemy. I don't feel as nervous as I did before. So, do you want to go out and see the ring? Very well. Go and get your intel. enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. Uh, you're even asking dating? Well, looks like she's done with her questions. That's enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. Oh, so this is what it's like from the spectator seats? Look over there. That's the ring we'll be standing on. Master Yun Li, I... I'm getting nervous again. Can I really do this? Well, it's too late for nerves now. It's almost time. Almost time for what? General Huayan gave me. Oh, my heart starts racing like crazy. What do I do, Master Yun Li? It's when it stops beating that we need to worry. <laughs> Just take in the atmosphere and prepare yourself. I have to leave for a moment and do some inspections around the ship. This was also part of Grandpa's orders. I wonder how Master Yan Ching is doing over there. Hey, focus. General, report. The teams are in position, and the Skyfaring Commission has taken control of the Starskip lanes. Activate all side cranes and have them scan everyone coming in and out of the port. Remain vigilant at all times. Any suspicious movements must be suppressed as quickly as possible before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, General. You two, follow me. What's a signal's nearby, but we lost contact just a moment ago. That mean... He will be fine. Cloud Knights, search for the target. All of you, get out of my way. Wait, don't go any closer. General, I failed you. That mad dog left me here as... A declaration of war. That's right. I've been holding back the urge to slit his throat all this time. Well, Lord Hule ordered us to remain here, just to see. If you, the great Merlin's Claw, mortal enemy of the Forest, are able to join him in a little hunting game, Hunting is not a game. It is a battle of life and death. Are you ready for your death? Abomination? Wildza, are you okay? I wasn't able to save Zhao Chao. Hule was more cunning and powerful than I imagined. Tell me, how is he planning to declare this war against me? one-on-one -on -one duel or with a hostage exchange maybe 
Hule is planning on attacking the bustling streets of the Xianzhou Lawfu. What did you just say? Impossible! Even if there is still undercover Borison that we haven't sniffed out, Hule can't have more than a few dozen people. How is he planning on simultaneously attacking the streets of the Xianzhou Lafu? He has an ace up his sleeve. Hule's body holds a plague mark passed down through generations of Borison. I've seen him convert a Foxy into a Borison wolf trooper with my own eyes. This is Hule's declaration of war. His blood. It can cause Foxians to rapidly transform and lose their minds. He has passed his blood to his minions and is planning to spread it across the law foo and stir up panic. He wants to encircle us in one fell swoop. This beast is truly unpredictable. Contact the Skyfaring Commission and the Cloud Knights right away. Have them enforce a traffic ban and order all Foxians to remain indoors until further notice. The moment you see your enemy's declaration of war, it means that they have already begun to take action. But if Hule succeeds in getting this panic to spread... Do you remember what I told you before? Hunting is about thinking the same way as your prey, not just mindlessly chasing after them. What Hule wants is to see everyone on the Lawfu descend into panic. He wants to see us lose our minds and waste our limited manpower scouring every inch of the Lawfu for signs of an attack until we exhaust ourselves. It's like that party game that the people of the Yaoqing love to play. They hide an object under one of several bowls, then move the bowls around and have you guess which one the object is underneath. The way I see it, this is all nothing more than misdirection. <sighs> no matter what Hule does, there is one truth that cannot be changed. He is trapped aboard the Sienjo Lothfu. The only way for him to escape is to find a ship. Right now, the only ship he'd be able to see is the Sky Splitter. In his eyes, that ship is full of countless hostages. That would be the best place for him to go. So, that will also be our final battlefield. But if we're wrong about this, if he goes somewhere else, or if he does as he said he would, and his minions infect the Foxians everywhere with wolf blood, what do we do then? Are we just supposed to abandon those less likely locations? This is another lesson that you must learn outside of swordplay. Weighing your options and making a decision. There are always questions that we will ask ourselves, but never be able to answer. Before making a decision, we must destroy any hesitation that we are holding on to. Once we make a decision, we must fight off any regrets. There is a chance that we will make the wrong decision and allow our allies to be sacrificed in vain. There is a chance that we will predict our enemy's movements correctly, get underestimate their strength, and be overwhelmed in battle. But being lost in hesitation and failing to take any action will always be more harmful than taking the wrong path. We must make a decision, no matter what. Everyone, listen up. I will personally take charge of Starskiff Haven, evacuate the people, and prepare for any possible attacks. I will do my best to ensure that things are safe on the ground. Nameless, please lend us your strength as you did when the Ambrosial Arbor was reborn. I need you and Wildza to go in search of Zhao Cho. General, please entrust me with the safety of the Sky Splitter. I was originally meant to participate in the tournament, so now it is only right that I return to the Sky Splitter. If Hulei does come to attack the Sky Splitter, Lieutenant Yan Ching, I need you to hold him there until I am able to arrive. Please rest assured, General. If he dares step foot on the Sky Splitter, I, Yan Ching, swear on the blade in my hands that he shall not escape. Cloud Knights, the Borsin have arrogantly decided to challenge us on Sienjo territory. They vow that they will unleash a bloodbath along the streets of the Sienjo. 
The unarmed civilians of the Sienjo and countless visitors from afar are under our protection. Let me ask you, as Cloud Knights, will we allow the Borsin to succeed with their plan? Be on your guard. Calling Starskip Haven. Have all Cloud Knights be on full alert for Borsin attacks. Seychelles, the ports of Starskip Haven are crawling with wolf-like creatures. They're moving fast. Hold them back! I will be there immediately! <laughs> there you are, Faisal. Madam Yukong! After 30 years, we find ourselves fighting side by side once more. It's been a while since I've let loose. Let's get this started. Remember, you are still on the Law Fu. Try not to go too wild. Let's see. We have cleared out the enemies in Starskip Haven. But it seems that there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a Starskiff. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. I know Zhao Cho always wants me to know my limits and not get carried away, but now is the time to bring this to a swift end. Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately. Madam Yukong, lend me your bow. I just knew it would end up this way. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess like this. She didn't even leave a single survivor to get intel from. One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao Cho's whereabouts. That was one of Fei Shao's arrows. Who knows what she used as an arrow to fire all the way over here. She's... she's just very... passionate. She sees every place as a battlefield where she can unleash hell. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I don't care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. What a terrifying attack. Who could have imagined that such astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a Foxian war slave? So decisive. So brutal. She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who have fallen to our current state. No wonder the Warhead has his eyes on her. The sneak that infiltrated the Shackling prison. Moktok, you are harder to kill than a cockroach. But the fact that you have willingly shown yourself saves us some time. 
It is not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? <laughs> Save your energy, Yao Qing monkey. If there is one principle that we beasts know well, it is that we might have to break off an arm to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. I lived as a hunter for many years. Yet I have only followed the warhead for this recent, brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind eyes. Like the moon of Verdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the Wolf's Creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on one another. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats, living a dirty and pathetic life. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack, and they should die for it as well. Come, the Ao Ching man. Show me your fangs! We will fight to the death! Puh. How honorable, you mangy dog. But you seem to have misunderstood. There will be no fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. No matter how heroic your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths, Borison. It seems that Mock Talk got what he wished for. Hule, your declaration of war is over. From now on, no matter where you run, General Fei Shao will catch you and send you to the same fate as mock talk. <laughs> oh, your tongue is sharper than your claws. Don't stand in my way, child. Have your general speak with me. Our little hunting game is not over yet. Stand down, Watsa. I am here, Hule. What do you wish to say? The Merlin's Claw. <laughs> Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you, from both my men and your healer. <sighs> the people of the Xiangzhou must be quite brave to allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood to ascend to the position of general. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of yours? Or could it be that your grand achievements were enough to convince everyone to keep their lips sealed? Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. I see that it is not only the ruthless blood of a wolf that courses through your veins, but also the cunning blood of a fox. When you think about it, this was a gift from the Borison. Anything that we gift, we are also free to reclaim. The Merlin's Claw, I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the Sky Splitter. Before you arrive, I will slaughter all in 
sight, allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over 700 years to once more come to life. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen of blood and show everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiangchu is. Then I will pilot this ship through every blockade and barrier you have prepared and begin my journey home. This ship shall be the flagship for the Borison resurgence. Before I finish these tasks of mine, you have a chance to stop me or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared for you. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path to ruin. I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring, but also with the security of the Sky Splitter. That's easy for my grandfather to say. But this mission doesn't seem so simple anymore. The first round of the tournament is about to begin. But I wonder how Yen Qing and the others are doing. According to the plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if they've discovered anything. Maybe I should take a moment to meet with March before the tournament starts. March is in the contestants' lounge right now. Oh, I wonder how her preparations are coming along. March, it's me, Yunli. Are you okay? She's still a nervous wreck. You still seem nervous. I wasn't this nervous before. It's just being alone in this lounge, I can't stop thinking about everything. I mean, not only are we taking part in the war dance, but we have such an important mission to carry out as well. March, calm down. Don't worry about your mission. You have me here too, right? I know my grandfather said that you must represent the Lawfu as the ringmaster. But don't let that intimidate you. Ask yourself. You are a nameless of the Astral Express. You have always been free to come and go as you please. So why did you board the Sky Splitter with me when my grandfather gave us this mission? Why? Because... I also want the war dance to go smoothly. For us nameless, even though we're just visitors at every stop, it was here that I met my two masters and made many new friends. I want the war dance to go ahead without any problems. For everyone's sake. Good answer. The tournament is about to begin, so I must go carry out the mission that Grandpa gave me. March? May your blade be sharp, and your victory glorious. Thank you, Master Yunli. According to Grandpa's plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter, and see if there have been any new developments. Is that you, Miss Yunli? If there's anything that I can help you with, please let me know. The Cloud Knights are all in position, following General Hua Yen's orders. Very good. Although... There is one thing I want to confirm with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any means to distinguish between Borisin and the Foxians. However, you can rest assured that the Clown Knights are working hard to investigate the source of the forged identities. All Cloud Knights on the Sky Splitter have their own responsibilities and wouldn't dare neglect their posts. March 7th and I could already tell. It's clear that every Cloud Knight soldier we've met on the Sky Splitter is an elite warrior. Uh, your timing is perfect, Miss Yun Li. We actually just received an emergency boarding request. An emergency boarding request? It wasn't on the Sky Splitter Starskiff registry, but all the documentation checked out. 
Who would be boarding the ship at this time? Uh, where are they? I'll go check it out. The Star Skiff is using the contestant docking bay. Would you like me to lead the way? No need. You have your own duties to take care of. I will be fine by myself. Routine inspection! All passengers, please prepare for an inspection! So this is the suspicious Starskiff. Where did the passengers go? I'm going to count down from ten. If you do not come out, I will destroy the ship. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. The time is running out. Three, two, one! Wait a second! It's me! It's just a routine inspection. You weren't actually going to blow up the ship, were you? Is that also some kind of Zhuming custom? Wait! Even though the Borison can disguise themselves, they can't turn into someone as short as me. Put your sword away. Didn't little Yenqing claim he was going to give up being the ringmaster and go on the hunt instead? Help shoulder the general's burdens? The Borison on the ground suddenly launched an attack. General Fei Xiao was concerned that this was all a diversion by Hule, so I requested to come to the Sky Splitter and provide support. I can't believe you ended up back here on the Sky Splitter after running around all over the place. But you're too late to enter the tournament now. Following Grandpa's plan, our disciple March is taking your place as ringmaster. Aren't you proud of her? When I first heard the news, I was definitely proud. But also a little concerned. More manpower is always a good thing, since the Sky Splitter is so large. Oh, and by the way, you should know that. What's happening? Does it feel like the sky splitter has slowed down? Could could it be? Come with me. We need to check the engine room. It's the heart of the ship, so we need to prioritize its safety. The war dance is about to begin. Contestants, please make your way to the arena. Strange. Why is there no one here? Alongside them. Don't worry, children. There's plenty of space to hide your bodies over here. <sighs> Even though I truly hoped that the war dance would go ahead uninterrupted, and that I was worrying for no reason. Now that these guys have finally shown up, it's a huge weight off my mind. Bring it on, you abominations! Two wolves in the engine room. That means that even more abominations have infiltrated other areas. <sighs> Hule is already aboard the Sky Splitter. There's no time to talk about this. The war dance has already started. If my guess is correct, the Borison will most likely use the ceremony to begin their slaughter. Let's go. We need to get to the war dance ring. We would like to welcome all of our honored guests contestants to the Xianzhou Law Fu's Luminary War Dance Ceremony. Before we get the first round underway, our organizing committee would like to introduce you all to a host known throughout the cosmos, Mr. Albert. He is here today as our special guest host. Let us invite our special guest host, Mr. Albert, to the stage to formally open the war dance. Your war dance ends here. <laughs> 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 
From this moment on, the Sky Splitter belongs to me. And for you, dear spectators, I have prepared a true fight to the death. Now, run for your lives. My apologies. The spectators that you were expecting aren't here. Everyone here actually came to see you. Cloud Knight, prepare for battle. Surround your enemy, but leave one side open. This is your strategy for ensuring that the war dance will be able to be held as usual? Precisely. When Hula escaped, we should have cancelled the war dance immediately. No one can predict where a wild beast like him will attack. Yet festivals and celebrations like this are likely to become targets. However, preparations for the war dance were in the works for so long I couldn't bear to announce its cancellation. So I thought, if the show must go on, then let it go on. But that doesn't mean that the war dance we hold today has to be the real event. All we need to do is swap all the spectators and contestants aboard the ship with Cloud Knight soldiers, and the Sky Splitter soaring high above will become the ultimate battleground for our hunt. Hmm. But what do we do if Hule is not planning to attack the war dance? Then we just need to draw his attention to the Sky Splitter. We'll have the Sky Faring Commission clear all transport lanes and cut down Starskiff traffic. Then, when the time comes, there will be only one ship in the sky and he will have no reason not to attack. General Fei Xiao will be in charge of scaring the wolves and cutting off their other means of escape, making him think that this will be his best way out. Given that the Borisin already have insiders on the Law Fu, I will be in charge of putting pressure on them, making them focus solely on keeping themselves safe. Very good. Then I'd better dust off my weary bones too. I will go with the Skyfaring Commission to guard the Jade Gate and ensure that things do not spiral out of control. Knowing that Elder Huayan is part of our last line of defense is a great comfort. This hunt will make Hule understand that the arrows of the hunt will always be one step ahead of the abominations. Oh, that jolt just now. What's going on? It feels like the entire ship has started to slow down. Morrison must have actually infiltrated the Sky Splitter. Based on General Huayan's orders, it's time for me to take action. Uh, you guys, you're not Cloud Knights acting as Morrison, are you? You're, you're real Morrison, aren't you? The plan said that if Hule appears, the Cloud Knights will assemble and do everything they can to suppress him. Master Yunli, where are you? March, I'm below the ring. The hall below the ring. I remember it being this way. Master Yan Ching! What are you doing here? Uh, I was concerned about the safety of the Sky Splitter, and my dear disciple, of course. Yanqing, the wolf you are hunting is standing above us in the war dance ring at this very moment, facing the Cloud Knights. 
This war dance will not be seen by the people of the Sienjo. Nor will it be just a ceremonial sword fight. This is a battle to the death that offers no honor, only mortal danger. March. Are you ready? Please. I am March 7th, a swordmaster who will represent the Law Fu in glorious battle. Yun Li, Miss March, may your blades be sharp and your victories glorious. May your blades be sharp and your victories glorious. May your blades... Ah, forget it. Let's go and make this a quick victory. Let's go. Waiting a long time for this hule. I see you shall send some young cubs to slaughter. Remember this! My name is March 7th, Ringmaster of the La Fu. Does the Senjo La Fu not have any worthy warriors? I wouldn't let my guard down if I were you. It's about time this old wolf tasted defeat at the hands of a young cub. <laughs> Swing with all your might, that. dear cubs. You thought I would run? A wolf's path only goes forward. Running is never an option. You think a little ambush is enough to defeat me? I wouldn't understand just how wrong you are. that have no secrets are no more than prey cut open and waiting for death what you're saying is in your eyes i am no more than prey that has exhausted all of its secrets and is simply awaiting its death do you think you have some other escape route <laughs> Jiao Cho, I have already peeled back your disguises and defenses, layer by layer. I know all the secrets that you and your general have buried so deep. <gasps> but you have told me all of your secrets too, Warhead. <laughs> chance to use them. You will be buried with them right here. Although, you are a fortunate one. After all, you will avoid having to see the tragic future that awaits your general. I'm sure she understands her fate far better than you ever will. 
One day on the battlefield, she will be overpowered by her ever-intensifying moon rage, and finally be torn apart by her fury and transformation. Not even your god can save her from this fate. Although, they can lead her to liberation. And the only way to save her is here, in my hands. Are you the healer? Or am I? Are you really that certain of your own judgment? I must leave, Foxian. But before I go, you know what I must do, don't you? Drink blood wine. I hear it is a Borisan custom to kill prisoners and drink their blood before battle to stir up their madness. You really did put hard work into researching us. It is a shame that this is where your journey ends. Are you the healer, Jiao Cho? Is there anything that I can do for you? I heard that you saved me. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. If you're a healer, can you cure my moon rage? And what if I can? Do I just sit back and watch as you head back out to die in battle? Listen to me, child. Your condition is not suited for the battlefield. Okay, then. Then, can you cure war? What are you talking about? I'm just a healer. All I can do is... So all you can do is heal us and let us go cure war. Such... Arrogance, young lady. This war has been waged for thousands of years, and it will only continue. What do you mean by cure war? All you will achieve is getting yourself killed. You healers work yourselves to the bone to save people, even though there will always be sickness and death. So we will also keep fighting. I cannot speak for the dead. But I know that General Yueyu as well as all the warriors that never returned from battle, will not have died in vain. They fought so that others could make it home alive. Your actions are no different. <sighs> Jiao Cho, this is an order. Cure me! who have no secrets are no more than prey cut open and waiting for death enjoy the taste of my fresh blood who lay unfortunately I am not a man without secrets I still have one little secret hidden up my sleeve tumble dust I drank it a while ago, and the poison is already flowing through my veins. Sooner or later, you will begin to feel the effects of the most lethal poison known to this world is able to save innocent lives. Then it can also be called a great medicine. I will do my best to cure you. They shall. I kept my promise. At the cost of this insignificant life. Bring victory to the Yao Jing.
Kule's movements are slowing down? This is our chance. It's time Dangerous for though. us to put this dog down. Does not mean you cannot be overpowered. Hule, take a good look. The power of the Cloud Knights is in my blade. Impossible! How could a mere whelp defeat me? Why do I feel like he suddenly started to flag during our battle? It must have been our awe-inspiring righteousness that struck fear into his heart. You really are an overthinker. What's the point of worrying about these things? <laughs> Who cares why he started to weaken? All that matters is that we won. The hunt is finally over. Thank you for holding out so long. The Cloud Knights are withdrawing as we speak. Lieutenant Yang Cheng, how are you holding up? I... I thought I was done for. I wouldn't want General Jing Yuan to lose the disciple that brings him so much pride. When I sensed that Hule was not on the ground, I raced to get here as quickly as I could. Who would have imagined that I would arrive late to the battlefield for the first time in my life? Now, perhaps you young one's blades were just too fast for me. I originally thought, in the best case scenario, you would team up and hold this beast back while protecting yourselves. However... You joined forces and defeated Hule. Ugh, oh, the youth are truly to be feared and respected. Come, we need to lock up Hule once again before anything unexpected happens. Such an unforgettable blade. So similar to the one wielded by that woman who defeated me all those years ago. Over 700 years have passed. And I thought I would have a way to overcome it by now. But in the end... <laughs> my fangs and claws were too slow. <laughs> you won, child. Stop struggling, Hule. There's plenty of time for you to be tortured by your regrets when you go back to the Shackling Prison. Yes, I was defeated, but this was not unexpected. <sighs> and regardless, <laughs> you still showed your face, Fei Shao. <laughs> <laughs> 